all right you are welcome again today let's take a look at this equation we are still talking about differential equation let's go we say solve the differential equation dx dy is equal to x plus 3y all over 2x okay dy dx is equal to x plus 3y all over 2x now how are we going to solve this please pay attention it's very simple now let's go let's rearrange this equation okay that means the term on the right hand side let's take it to the left so y going is going to give us minus right so we are going to have minus x plus 3y all over 2x in bracket plus dy dx is equal to zero hello now merely looking at this we see that it fit in into the equation that we call homogeneous equation and how does homogeneous equation come it comes in form of p plus q dy dx equal to zero where p and q are homogeneous functions okay so here now if we say that this is homogeneous equation our p is minus x plus 3y all over 2x and then our q is equal to 1 right good now you know this place that we say it fits in in the same form of homogeneous equation let's call it equation one okay good now let's say y is equal to vx we let y be called vx that is to say in the function or in the equation number one anywhere we see y we are going to replace it with what vx now but before we do that let's differentiate this function y with respect to x that means we are going to have dy dx is equal to when we differentiate vx is going to give us v plus x dv all over the x we differentiate vx with respect to x it's going to give us v plus x dv all over the x all right yes now let's go we call this equation three so here we say anywhere we see y we replace it with vx and then here we have a new value for dy dx equal to v plus x dv all over dx now we are going to substitute equation two and equation three in equation one now in equation one what do we have we have minus x plus 3y all over 2x plus dy dx so in place of y we are going to have vx then we have all over 2x plus you know in place of dy dx we are going to have v plus x dv all over dx equal to zero all right good so now this is the new function we have we have minus x minus 3 vx all over 2x plus v plus x dv all over dx equal to zero from this place let's separate the variables we are going to do separation of variables so now look at it we are going to have this place we have minus x minus 3 vx let's split this into two that means we're going to have minus x all over 2x minus 3 vx all over 2x is that true yes plus v plus x dv all over dx equal to zero so when we say minus x all over 2x s we cancel x in the numerator and the denominator we're going to be left with minus 1 all over 2 then we have minus we have 3 v x all over 2x x we cancel x we're going to be left with 3 v all over 2 then we have plus v plus x the v all over the x is that true yes now let's go we're going to multiply through by 2 we multiply everything by 2 
so that the fraction will go all right so when we multiply by 2 we are going to have minus 1 minus 3v plus 2v plus 2x dv all over the x equal to 0 all right good so here when you say minus 3v plus 2v what is it going to give us you're going to give minus v so here we have minus 1 minus v plus 2x dv dx is equal to 0 now this minus 1 minus v let's put it in bracket that means we're going to be in this form minus open bracket 1 plus v close bracket plus 2x dv dx equal to 0 let's take it to the other side that means we're going to have 2x dv dx is equal to 1 plus v all right good now from here let's multiply both sides by dx let's multiply both sides by dx so when we do so we are going to have 2x dv is equal to 1 plus v in bracket dx 1 plus v in bracket dx so you know we are talking about separation of variables so that each variable will be in one side totally that is what we've been doing right good so in this place here now where we have 2x dv equal to 1 plus v in bracket dx so in this place where we have dv we only want v to be there so x is here we want to remove this x in the side of the v that is in the left hand side we want to remove x and then in the right hand side we have the x then we want to remove one plus v so that anything pertaining to v will not be there we only have x in the right hand side okay so that means we are going to divide both sides by one plus v in bracket x okay so now let's go that means we're going to have 2x dv all over 1 plus v in bracket x equal to 1 plus v in bracket dx all over 1 plus v in bracket x so in the left hand side x in the numerator we cancel x in the denominator and in the right hand side 1 plus v we cancel 1 plus v all right so we're going to be left with 2 all over 1 plus v dv equal to 1 all over x dx hello after the cancellation we are left with 2 all over 1 plus v in bracket dv equal to 1 all over x dx all right good now integrating the both sides when we integrate the both sides that means we're going to say the integral of 2 all over 1 plus v dv equal to the integral of 1 all over x dx so integrating the left hand side is going to give us 2 ln 1 plus v in bracket equal to integrating the right hand side is going to give us ln x plus c all right but we say that y is equal to vx and then making v the subject we're going to say that v is equal to y all over x so in place of v let's replace it that means we're going to have 2 ln 1 plus in place of v we have y all over x close bracket equal to ln x plus c hello yes so this is the solution to the differential equation dy dx equal to x plus 3y all over 2x so the solution we have 2 ln 1 plus y all over x in bracket equal to ln x plus c all right yes thank you very much for watching please before you go click the like button and share this video now stay blessed